Hi everyone and welcome to another Movie of the Week. This Movie of the Week was Napoleon Dynamite. If it, this is your first time watching Movie of the Week, basically every week I, there's a movie and I talk about it and discuss it here and then you guys can comment your thoughts and at the end of every video I say the movie for next week so you can watch it. But yeah, the movie for this week was Napoleon Dynamite from 2004 so if you haven't watched it, watch it now. Now in my last video I was saying how well, I think I was saying how I thought this movie was from like the 1900s just because of kind of the setting and I'll talk about that in a second. But it turns out it came out in season four and I was like, okay, that's probably because it was take place in the 80s and 90s. And while I was watching, I like looked it up and there was something that said that like on Napoleon's ID, it said 2004 or something, which I'm like, what? It like clearly it takes place in like the 80s or like maybe even the early 90s. Uh, so I don't know, but something else said maybe like it still takes place in 2004, but it takes elements from the 80s. I don't know. I just feel like the entire film just takes place in the 80s. Like if you look at everything, you know, the way they use phones, the way they're dressing, every aspect. Now this movie is like hard to really analyze. I would say it's just like a movie about like life in high school like at first you know figure out who to take to the prom and then like an election and so those are kind of the big plot points I would say and it's just a movie that's like has these like regular high school things you would see in movies about high school but it just takes place in the 80s and like the way that the characters act and elements about that. Also I want to point out this mo point I was just kind of like looking at the cast and that guy from the White Lotus, I'm forgetting his name, but the one who married Tanya, Tanya you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, he's in the movie, he's the uncle, but so yeah, the movie, there's like nothing really crazy about it. It just like kind of goes through these things. And then other than those two points I was saying about a prom and then election, like his uncle is trying to do like door to door selling and then... I don't even know if it's his brother or cousin. I don't know who that, I don't know his relation to Napoleon, but he is like, has an internet girlfriend. So it's just, it's, there isn't like that much to the film, but it's like a, one of the great films because it's just kind of the way the characters like really are those characters and the expressions they make and like the fact that they're like not perfect. Like they're, they do things on purpose. Um, for example, when Napoleon's talking to the girl character, Dev, and she has, like, food all over her mouth. Like, in a lot of high school movies, you won't see that, but, like, they purposely, like, I don't know, or, like, like, take on that element. Also, I guess another cast member is Hilary Duff's sister is in this. So that is someone else from the cast. <laughs> I think what's also really cool about this film is it kind of just, like, goes through the scenes or, like, like, let's say... Um, when Napoleon was with Pedro and then like the bike thing he's you know Pedro did like this is one of the opening scenes well not the opening scenes but like at the beginning of their relationship and he like like rides the bike bicycle and then Napoleon's like I can do that and then it cuts to Napoleon doing it it kind of just cuts the scenes really fast as I was saying it kind of just cuts through the scenes fast where it doesn't give like that much setting in each scene or like what's happening you just kind of like see the scenes and I kind of really like that aspect of filmmaking it's a different type of filmmaking I'm not exactly sure what it's called or if there's like it well you see it differently like you know a lot of times in movies and stuff they like will show like that type of school to be like this is a school you know they don't really do that like they don't really like set the scene it's just like are the scenes and they just move along and they cut and I kind of like that because it kind of keeps you like more in the moment when you're like trying to figure out what happens and it just like feels like it moves around quicker and better. And so I just really like that element and so I think that's probably like one of the elements <laughs> that makes this film like a really great film. I also think what's really important about this film that I don't think people talk about enough is the mise en scene. Mise en scene? What? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not French. But it's just the way that like they use like color, I feel like uh, is really like interesting. Like, I don't know, like the, okay, let's just say like this scene where it's only one scene or it's just one shot in the scene, whatever. So Pedro, or not Pedro, 
Napoleon is standing in front of lockers and like the lockers are like red, orange, and then in the middle of blue. And he's actually wearing the same type of blue and it's like a typical blue. It's like a very certain type of blue and he's wearing the same blue shirt and then he gets pushed into a locker and that's it. That's it at the scene. And it's like, when you think about it, it's like, why was that scene be included? But it kind of is just something that like moves along and just shows how he was treated in school. And it's interesting with the Miz and Sun. And then when Pedro wins the, um, the election and his family's throwing him the party it's kind of interesting to see like the uh the they have like the drinks and like they with the cake <laughs> and then there's cups the there's the whatever liquid drink were in the cups they had it to be the colors even though they're kind of unique colors for like drinks like green and red but they had it for the mise en scene so i think that's something that gets overlooked that I noticed and I wish that I kind of noticed more moments where I was like wow that really puts it but overall I think this film is just kind of really great because of like how the characters are and like the things they say and you're like this is so unrealistic and not how people talk but it's like in that kind of like always sunny way where it's like these characters are unrealistic and who they are and they kind of like make fun of it so in the way it's like kind of making fun of the people at that time and not like trying to be like something like a mean girls or a lot of like those early 2000 because uh, at that time there's a lot of early 2000 movies about high school and like I wish I had that nowadays <laughs> but um so it's very different than that because it does take place in the 80s and kind of makes fun of like the people in the film but overall I guess there's not that much to say because it's probably like kind of forgot about the plot like it's kind of one of those movies where you see and you're like that's a good movie I like how they did that and that that but you don't really remember much afterwards so yeah I just think sometimes here with the movie of the week I just want to include like good films and this is my second time watching it and there are elements I talk about like the way that the filmmaking and editing went with the cuts and just like how they wrote the characters and how each actor really took on each character which I think is important to talk about so yes, comment below your feelings and thoughts about Napoleon Dynamite and the movie next week. We're going back to the 1900s. It is, okay, that was a drum roll. <laughs> it is Sunset Boulevard from 1950. So yeah, one of the, the older ones. And I think it's still in black and white. So, so make sure you watch Sunset Boulevard from 1950 for next week. Comment below your Napoleon Dynamite thoughts and feelings now. And thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye.